Go, Uste! Yun, ramdam ang sigaw ng Tomasian sa nagpapatunay ng kanilang galing at puso sa iba't ibang larangan. Itinataas ang banderang Golden White bilang pambato ng Espanya. Mas makikilala natin ang Tomasians na nagpamalas ng kanilang galing at husay at puso sa iba't ibang larangan. Ako si Gretchen Ho. Ako naman si Robbie Domingo and this is Utah Season 3. Pacifico University of Santo Tomas, the oldest existing university in Asia. Yes! Alam mo, Robbie, ang sarap talagang pumunta rito dahil para ka nagta-time travel. Totoo. Eh, napakaganda ng architecture, mm -hmm. ng mga daan. Ang sarap. Balik ka ng history. Mm -hmm. Tsaka si Rizal. Oh, ano? Dito nag-aaral as well. Diba? Pero una natin banalikan ang isa sa mga iconic spots dito sa Uste. Ang Ark of the Centuries. Gretsch, lahat ng freshies dumadaan sa ilalim ng ark bilang rite of passage o ceremonial walk. At dito rin nagagarap ang emotional exit ng mga seniors kapag mag-graduate na sila. Itong tradisyon na ito ay may tatak uste at kasama sa ating top 5 must-knows para sa mga freshies o sa mga may pangarap na mag-aral sa UST. Kaya naman, listen up everyone! Here is U-Town's Campus Guide. Binansagang the oldest existing university in Asia. Kilala sa mahigit apat na siglong kasaysayan at kahusayan sa akademya ang University of Santo Tomas. Kaya naman isang pribilehyo para sa mga estudyante ng Uste ang matawag na Tomasino. At para sa mga first-timers dito sa UST, ito ang five must-knows about the home of the Growling Tigers. Buhay na buhay ang food scene sa paligid ng UST. Isa sa mga paboritong pagkain ng mga Tomasino ay ang famous toron o banana rama ng Mang Toots. Dito ko lagi kumakain kay Mang Toots dahil sa kanyang lutong bahay. At nabimiss ko ang mga pagkain sa probinsya kaya binabalik-balikan ko ito. Mararecommend ko sa inyo ang banana rama dahil sa masarap at swak sa budget. At sa hindi to karaniwang toron dahil may ram sauce pa ito kaya masarap. Trending man ang food truck sa mga millennials ngayon? Marami pa rin ang dumarayo sa tried and tested na dim sum treats. Dito po ako madalas kumain sa dim sum treats kasi po unang-una affordable po siya. Sa sulat kasi nakabusog siya. Tapos walang masasayang kasi lahat po ng ano, tindahan nila masarap. May recommend ko po talaga siya sa mga first years kasi affordable siya. Tried and tested na po namin siya. Sa mga ayo naman lumayo. Marami ring food choices sa loob ng campus. Dito ako kumakain sa UST Car Park kasi accessible siya and may different kinds of food na pwede kong pagpilihan. Isa rin sa maipagmamalaki ng mga Tomasino ay ang kanilang historic architecture. Bukod sa state-of-the-art facilities and centuries-old structures. The Benavides Garden is indeed one of my most favorite spots here in UST because of uh, the green surroundings, all the trees, as well as the fresh breeze of air that comes with it. Also, the surroundings cultures, and actually, it is one of the places that most students use to study, interact with one another, as well as to relax and enjoy, just like I do. So, my favorite spot here in UST is the Benavides statue because it is very historical. I'm actually the one who donated the funds and donated this personal library collection that paved the way for the university to be established in 1611. Uh, my favorite place here in UST is the Plaza Mayor because every time I stay here, I get that refreshing feeling of just observing the scenery and people pass by. This used to be a parking lot and now it's a vast expanse of wonderful architecture reminiscent of the classical plazas of Europe. My favorite spot here in UST is the UST Grandstand. It was constructed in the 1970s. This place serves as a venue 
for social and cultural events like the baccalaureate mass and, of course, the iconic USD Pascuhan. While the practice ground serves as a field for volleyball, football, and soccer. Makikita rin dito ang dalawang national cultural treasures, ang main building at ang central seminary building. My favorite building in the university is none other than the UST main building. Besides of it being known as a historical landmark in our university, this edifice also holds the distinction of being the first modern-day earthquake-resistant building in the Philippines. I look at it as a masterpiece, wherein when I see the statues at the top of the building, these statues simply symbolize the uh, intellectual and spiritual aspirations of the university. For instance, um, as you can see surrounding the clock, which is um, the three statues, all of them represent faith, hope, and charity, which are the virtues that the university revolves around. My favorite place in the university is the USD Chapel, also known as the Santissimo Rosario Paris Church. Personally, the USD Chapel gives me an opportunity to be one with God and to have a peace in mind with the Lord. Completed in 1934 as the seminary building of the university, the structure now houses the University Chapel, also known as the Santissimo Rosario Paris Church, the Fathers' Residences, and the Ecclesiastical Faculties. Pag gusto mong mag-break muna from academic duties, may iba't ibang paboritong spots ang Thomasians. Personally, my favorite place in, here in the university would have to be this place, the Tanyan Key Student Center, since it gives me a, a much-needed break away from my academics. Since I'm from a student organization, I take this time to take a breath and see my org mates who come from different colleges here in the university. So one of my most favorite spots here in UST would be the Miguel de Benavides Library. I find it the perfect place to stop and pause after one busy day. Actually, the University of Santo Tomas Miguel de Benavides Library is a six-story building. It was founded actually, it was established 1605, so the library is older than the university itself. We want to highlight our Antonio Vivencio del Rosario UST Heritage Library. It houses our rare books. Our oldest book that we have here is La Guerra Judaica. That's where our rare books are housed and uh, preserved and conserved. Hindi rin mapapahuli ang UST pagdating sa student privileges. Nandyan ang may uste student portal na ngayon ay accessible na rin via ITS mobile app. Uh, student portal is very useful po for us to match. So unang una kasi, it has the schedules of our classes. So even within or without the campus, nakukuha namin lahat ng announcements and the things that we have to know. And aside from that, they promote transparency unang una because andun yung breakdown ng aming tuition fees and all of the balances that we have to assess. So it is usually used for viewing grades, evaluating professors, tapos reading the school guidelines. Helpful siya as a 21st century learner, you get to experience the new parts of technology. Yeah. Ang MyST student portal ay nagkikater ng mga different online information for the students. Basically, ang goal nito is to provide the students with the information for them to able to check their student-related information. There are particular courses that na offer ng online enrollment which they can access through the MyUste My portal. The Pontifical, Royal, and Catholic University of the Philippines, UST, continues to uphold its Catholic tradition through the Angelus. Prayer has been our culture as the Masons, as the Royal, Pontifical and Catholic University of the Philippines, we hold high regards for prayer. Not only does prayer make us strong and firm, but also makes us more genuine to our Thomasian identity. Prayer in the university is most evident during 12 noon and 6 p.m. when we pray the Angelus, and every 3 p.m. when we pray the Divine Mercy Prayer. They provide an avenue for us to pause our work, stop our world, and pray, reminding us to, that we are blessed in every hour of every day of our lives. Masasabing salamin ng mayaman na kasaysayan ng UST ang Arch of the Centuries. So the Arch of the Centuries is actually the original entrance to our campus back when the university was still in Intramuros from 1611 to 1941. And an exact replica was made facing the Espana Boulevard 
put back to back together with the old intramuros arc facing the main building. And it is very special to all Tomasians because it is where the freshmen do their welcome walk and where the graduates do their exit walk. Dito nagaganap ang pomosong Tomasian welcome walk ng mga freshies. It's definitely one of the most unforgettable and most anticipated events as our journey as a Tomasian. And there's even this superstition or this myth that if you pass through it before you graduate, you'll get bad luck or you won't get to graduate. Every Tomasian knows about this and I personally, I believe in it and I'm scared of it. So hopefully, being able to pass through it the second time around, hopefully from the other end, will be even more fulfilling than the first time. Tumatatak sa puso ng bawat Tomasino ang kanilang journey dito sa campus. At paglabas ng UST, proud na proud laging isigaw ang Go Uste at ibahagi ang masayang karanasan sa pinakamamahal na alma mater. Rich, kala mo may isa rin akong maslo ah. Kapag nag-share ka ng Go Uste, mm. kailangan may kasamang movie yan. Paano, paano? Sabay tayo, alam mo yan. Ba? Sige. Go Uste! Go Uste! Go Uste! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh, next day, may mukha na tayo dito. Band! <laughs> At uh, yung cheer na yan, eh, madras nga nga, naririnig ng isang team dito. Ano? Ang kanilang Pumse team. Pumse? Oh, ang reigning UAAP champs. At sa ating pagbabalik, our very own Eliza Valdez will try this martial arts. Oo. Oh, oh. Anong ginagawa mo? Go, stay. <laughs> okay. Go. And later on, we'll get to meet the martial artists who give back and two amazing women who are proud to shout, USD represent lahat ng yan. Abangan nyo sa pagbabalik ng U-Town Season 3! Go, stay. Go, stay.